Hi everyone, I just wanted to talk about Baldur's Gate 3 and some of the mods that I use to enhance the character creation. I find that the base game character creation is pretty good, um, but mods definitely enhance it to the next level. I've in the past been quite frustrated whenever I find a picture of a character or something that looks really heavily modded and the mods and things used in that picture are like never listed. I find that highly annoying so I wanted to go through all the mods that I use for my characters. Starting off with the new character creation presets. Um, this is like one of my favorite mods. It has like tons and tons of different face models, a bunch of different variations of like the same type of face. Um, it includes both male and female. As you can see, there is quite a lot of different options. I'll link all of the mods that I'm showcasing in this video in the description below. That's not the only face mod that I use. I also use Vemperin's other heads. This also has a pretty good selection of different types of faces. But that's it for the faces. Now, I do use an eye mod, and I use Eyes of the Beholder. Um, particularly, I use the Glow Eye preset. Um, you can use, like, whatever you want. has a ton of different options. You can see each mod with, like, its previews. As far as I'm concerned, you can only have one type installed. That may have changed. Um, you'll just have to look at the instructions. Now onto the hair that I use. Tav's Hair Salon. Probably one of the most popular. Um, I'm sure a lot of people have seen this one. Um, but I will show another one after this one. That is my personal favorite. Um, but in Tab's Hair Salon, there's like a ridiculous amount of options. Um, there's like 352 pictures of like different types of hair. It's mostly female hair, I find, but they have started adding some male hairs. Now, this is my favorite hairstyle mod, Vesnel's Hair Collection. The reason why I love this mod is because, well, I mean, it just has hairs that I really like. Um, and I feel like it has a really good quality balance between it looking really close to the original art style of the game. Tab's Hair Salon does that as well, but I do like that Vesnel's Hair Collection. Um, it feels like the hairs are quite different, mostly different, um, and it has a really good balance between female hairstyles and male hairstyles. Um, particularly, I absolutely love this hair. Um, I love, like, these two hairs. I use them all the time. Uh, this hair is, like, a 10 out of 10 from me. I mean, it's just an altered version of Asterion's hair, but... It's different enough that I, I really like it. Now, I primarily play male characters, so that's why I'm kind of focusing on the male character aspect of this, but most of these mods, if not all of them, are for both female and male characters. Now, on to one of the horn mods that I use, which is called Horns of Faerun. This mod just has, like, a few different styles of horns. I've seen this one a lot on like so many different modded characters. Sayer's Horns is also another option that I use for horn mods. I use this one particularly on the character that you will see at the beginning. Um, they also are usable by, I believe, any other race than just tieflings. Now for some accessories, Trip's Accessory Collection and Piercing Edits kind of go hand in hand together. Piercing Edits adds a variety of piercing mashups available as new sets or replacers. It includes compatibility with the Trips accessories. Trips accessory collection adds its own unique accessories. Half Angel ASMR 
is kind of like a race mod and also a general character creation mod. It provides a bunch of different like godly looking accessories like wings. You can get some like pretty cool stuff like this for example. Now going hand in hand with the half angel mod is the angel wings and halos. This mod adds extra halos and accessories as well as wings. The last mod that I want to cover is Coven Elf's Tattoo and Makeup Collection. There's probably tons and tons of makeup mods out there, but I've been using this one and I really, really, really like it. It adds a bunch of more mystical looking tattoos. I also really, really, really like the makeup that it adds. I use it very frequently. This tattoo mod does replace the base game tattoos and makeups but the new ones so keep that in mind. That's it for the mods in this video. There's probably so much more that I could show but that list would go on for a very long time. But if you do end up using these mods I can guarantee you that Asturian will call you beautiful. As always leave a like and subscribe if this was helpful for you. Thank you very very much for watching.